All right, well, that has to go off every time I'm gonna film a video. It's just way too loud. But as you guys saw, got my first 3080 in. I went with the EVGA. It was only $430, so $10 more than a Dell would have been, so might as well get the quality. And I swear, I don't know if this thing's ever been used. It's absolutely flawless. Well, you saw in the intro, that was from a couple days ago. I got a 3080 in, and since then I've gotten another 3060 Ti in. And like two hours from now, the third GPU is coming in, another 3060 Ti. So I've already got the first two GPUs plugged into the rig because you know I'm not gonna wait two days to plug them in to make a video. I'm gonna plug them in right away. So I'll show you what I did to get those GPUs plugged in. There was a couple things that didn't work out as planned. I was gonna use like USB extenders to reach the PCIe slots and those actually didn't work. But I'll talk about that a little later. Let's take a look at the rig and see what I did. And then a little later, I'll get that third GPU in and we'll have all 11 of them up and running and I'll show you what it looks like in Hive OS. This is what we're working with right now. You can see this 3080 right here. That's totally new. And then this EVGA 3060 Ti, that's totally new as well. So I currently do not have a slot for that last card that's coming in. So I'm gonna to need to move some of these cards around, basically make these gaps a little smaller between the cards. Everybody loved the dog last video. Winnie is her name. She's not a boy, guys, come on. A um, Couple other things I changed here is to be able to power that 3080 and eventually this additional 3060 Ti, I had to switch I had two 750 watt PSUs. I had to switch one of them out for a Dell 1400 watt. And that was super easy to do. I just pulled the breakout board off of the old one and just plugged it straight onto that 1400 watt PSU. So that was a super easy change. I got these Dell PSUs, the 1400 watts from Parallel Miner for like 15 bucks a couple weeks ago. So I think I got three of them Figured that was an awesome deal and basically can never get a 1500 watt power supply for $15. So I got a couple of those. Additionally, I mentioned that I had tried to use, I tried to use these USB extenders. So plug a USB A in here, plug a USB there. I tried to use those to plug this card into the motherboard because the riser cable was pulling so hard and I was trying to plug it in, I think, to one of these further slots. And those USB extenders do not work with mining. I tried this one. I tried this one, which is a little thicker, and it's a long one. That one also didn't work, so I basically gave up on that idea. And I'm just assuming that it's impossible to use USB extenders for mining so what i had to do is actually unscrewed the motherboard it was screwed into the frame and i scooted it as far over as it will go and now that very last card is that wire right there you can see it's pulling pretty tight but it's still fitting in there good and it's going to work so the last card will go into that slot there all right got my riser and three power cables these evga XC3 3060 Ti's, they have two power slots. So one cable for the riser, two for the card. I don't really use splitters anymore these days. I used to use them a lot during like the Ethereum mining days, but I don't use them so much anymore. So let's turn this rig off and basically just gonna move all the cards, very small amounts probably a couple this way, a couple that way, and I'll slot it in the middle. There's not really an exact science to this. I just kind of move them over a tiny bit, and hopefully after I've moved enough cards, then I'll have room for another one. So 
So I didn't talk about the price of these new GPUs yet. So the 3080, if you saw my monthly profit update for March, I ended up getting that for $430, which was only about $10 more than those Dell 3080s that I was looking at. So I figured, hey, might as well spend the extra $10 to get a nicer card. So that's what I did. And then the first 3060 Ti, the two fan EVGA, I got that one for 270 off of eBay, which that's normally more than I would wanna pay. And I was praying that that card was a Samsung memory. But unfortunately, once I got it plugged in, it was Hynix, of course. This whole rig is all basically Hynix 3060 Ti's. And if you guys don't know, the Hynix cards are significantly worse memory than the Samsung ones. Like if we're, if we're, on, if we're talking about Kapow, it's the difference between like 32 mega hash and like 28 mega hash. So it makes a huge difference and there's really no way to know before you buy the card if it's gonna be Samsung or Hynix, especially if you're buying on like Facebook Marketplace. I hate asking people to check that because then they almost know for sure that you're a miner and a lot of the times they won't even sell you the GPU if they know you're gonna mine on it. At least that's what I've gotten from my experience. So I'll scoot these two over and then hopefully that's enough room I'm going to be kind of pissed if I didn't move them over enough. I think that should be fine, actually. As far as power capacity on this rig, I've got three cards on the 1000 watt ATX PSU, and then I've got three cards on the 750 watt PSU. And then I'm gonna have, let's see, four cards on the 1400 watt PSU with one of them being the uh, 3080, which is like, it basically counts as a card and a half. So plenty of power capacity. Let me show you guys this and Hopefully that's enough room. I guess we won't really know until I get that other card in. So let's check out the spacing here. Still got pretty good space between them. And right here, let's see how thick are those EVGA cards. Yeah, about, about three fingers. So three fingers right in the center there. That should fit good. So now I'll get my riser laid out in here and basically be ready to turn this on as soon as that new card comes in. Eventually, I am gonna move these, car these two fan cards to this side of the rig because if you remember when I changed those thermal paste, it really didn't make a difference to the cards on the left side of the rig because they're basically soaking in all this heat from these other GPUs. And once I turn these fans on, that won't be as big of a deal because it's gonna suck all that heat out from between the cards. One other thing I forgot to mention is when I upgraded this to seven fans, I had these fans using splitters running onto a motherboard uh, fan header. But looking online, you really don't want to run more than five fans on a single header, and you definitely don't want to do it with like seven fans, and five fans is probably pushing it. So what I ended up getting was a fan to Molex connector. So this Molex connector from the ATX PSU will power these two fan strands, which are then going to a bunch of different, they're not plugged in right now, obviously, but they're going into a bunch of different splitters and that one Molex connector will power all seven fans. And that way I don't have to use a fan header on the motherboard and potentially burn it out. All right, so let me plug these cables into the power supply 
and then that will be all, about all the work we can do until that next card comes in. So I'll go ahead and plug this one into the riser. And feed this down to where it's going to plug into the board. Okay. And then feed this to the power supply. And then this rig will be back to 11 GPUs. It hasn't had 11 GPUs on it since early 2021. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video going over all my pictures from the Ethereum mining days. I think it'd be pretty cool to kind of go off my first rig, how I expanded, and then just show basically my rig progression from all of 2021 to all of 2022. And then basically all those rigs I sold off, one of them being that founder's rig that's over here. I think that'd be cool to see, but let me know your guys' thoughts on that. I'll see you in two hours once this last GPU gets here. All right, well, this just arrived in the actual graphics card box, so hopefully it still works. Don't ship graphics cards like this, people. That's how they get stolen. But let's take a look. Hopefully no issues. Forgot to mention it earlier, this one was $220. So that and the 271 balanced out to about 500 for two 3060 Ti's, which is right around that 250 price I've been telling you guys about. This one was off Facebook Marketplace. And it's a three fan card. Good condition, warranty sticker still in place. So let's get this plugged in and make sure it works. Go ahead and turn this off. That spacing is gonna work good. So let me grab a screw. Plug in our two cords we already got set out here. And then we'll be up and running. One thing too is, if I can get one more of these XC3 cards, I will have exactly eight of them and I can put them all on the same rig and uh, get it all matching. Everybody loves a matching rig. Okay, PCIe's plugged in, let's turn it on. It's spinning. All right, I'll see you guys in Hive OS. All right, rig turned on. It looks like the card registered. We've got 11 cards on here. I took a picture beforehand to see where that EVGA card was gonna pop up, but thank God it's Samsung. I'm pretty sure all the three fan cards are Samsung and the two fan are either Hynix or Samsung because I've never gotten a Hynix three fan. So that's good, but that means that I need to insert at position four this overclock setting so that it pushes back all of these ones to match the other one. So let me just do that real quick. Edit, set up minor config. So I'll use 290. And I put it at zero one zero one two three four. Put it right here, and then I need to do that for memory clock as well. We'll do twelve hundred zero one two three four, and then finally we need to do it for our core clock on Zilliqa zero one two three four, comma fourteen hundred. Let's update that and let's see if it starts mining. Looks like everything went good. We are mining. One thing that I also need to change is the power limit here. I was getting low Zilliqa hash rate on my 3080 and it's because it was set to 150 power limit. Even though I'm overclocking in the miner itself, this power limit, I guess because I specifically don't set it in the miner, 
uh, is still taking into effect. So I do need to change that to, let's see, which card was it? This one needs to be 250 and this one needs to be 150. And that way I get my full Zillica hash rate when it switches over to that. So, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Looks like all my cards worked out. The full expansion of that rig is complete. 11 cards, total of $900 for those last three. So pretty decent deal. Um, and now we just sit back and let these mine for the next, hopefully, multiple years and hope profits increase big time in 2025. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.